Welcome to TradeTheNBA.com. This gentleman's report is for the 6th of April. Well, now we've had a couple of days of the softening, and you can see DOC um, Cyan has led that way from the DOC spread that started before, which literally we were looking for this pullback to the positive extreme. Still haven't gotten there. So as much as we've seen some pullback, it still hasn't even filled the single positive extreme that was established from it. But now you've got uh, MBI Magenta below uh, 33 level, which uh, uh, and also below yellow. So it's definitely within the sum. But you're not seeing an activation here of the white MBI. If that were pivoting up, then I would uh, expect a significant breakdown. But um, it's just not the case at this particular point. So Modest insertion of shorts, just not significant enough. And of course, the NASDAQ has been the leader on this. And you can see the positive extreme going all the way back to right here, just about filled. So um, what may happen is the NASDAQ will fill its, and that would be sufficient. And the SP may not. Um, which is surprising that we've seen a little bit of resilience back into the SP. So. From a uh, treasury standpoint, of course, uh, money's just flocking into there for safety and the idea that they believe that rates are going to continue to drop. Uh, and I wouldn't be so sure about that. I think that that could be the mistrade uh, going forward. Uh, we'll, we'll see because if the stagflation continues and this is going to be the factor that I'll be watching is that oil above 80. I think is problematic and it becomes a, a hard case sell to think that the Fed will be able to um, ease within that and throw in the banking, you know, liquidity issues. Uh, I don't think that uh, consumers are going to be all that patient uh, when it comes to scares. They're going to certainly be a little bit more proactive with their uh, resources, whether you think it's reasonable or not, that's not relevant. It's what people do and we have to be able to respond to how that's going to impact the market and so uh, the downside uh, for those kind of actions could be significant from a gold standpoint it's always going to continue to be a positive for gold because again this fear of currencies gets into the same idea of the euro and it's a uh, spike because it's like well you know now do europeans that have to pull up their money out not so much. Uh, this has mostly been uh, a pretty organized uh, assault against the dollar. And to me, it just strikes a nice uh, controlled ascent from uh, the desire to improve uh, the euro relation, uh, given how precarious things are in Europe. So, and, and that's going to be an interesting one. And we'll see how it plays out going forward. But, um, should there be a crisis of banking and that within the European community, they're going to need that cushion. And from a Bitcoin standpoint, it's still hovering flat. And I think the ETH uh, here has uh, been slightly outperforming recently where uh, Bitcoin had the lead. Now that the kind of crisis mentality is over to the you know practical use of blockchain and that um, moves towards the ETH uh, consideration from our 50k standpoint so it was a couple days ago the cell signal came in with the white mbi that popped up over here and then i had to wait for the breakdown of the uh, mbi magenta below the 33 and once that took place we've had a continuous run and the nice spike that happened early in the day made it clear that we were headed for the zero percent and we did that we're doing it again and this time right at the 23 so that could be another nice uh, move to the lower side worth noting from a 5k standpoint you see post market we hear dropped down and then spiked but um the intraday action i think uh, lent itself both to long and short uh, it was pretty uh, pretty clean from that early rise that happened and then it sold off and once we got caught between the algos one was going to be the come the draw and every time we hit the uh, upper 4125 range here it just got rejected and that only left the 4103 one right down here and broke down to that one pretty quick so that became the central focus now we're back above it so again the 25 one is going to be a slight uphead resistance and they'll duke it out but we're going to see it anyway so it's all good as always, trade well. We'll talk to you later.